Onto installation of the cooler overall, it's very easy and I'm forever impressed with Actic's ways when it comes to designing how a cooler installs onto a system. Installation begins with screwing down the two Intel mounting brackets onto the underneath of the cooler with the included four 6mm M3 screws. Once you've done this, you'll then want to position the plastic back plate behind the motherboard and flip it around. Once you've done this, you can then place the cooler onto the CPU after installing the thermal compound and screwing it in place with the larger 20mm M3 screws. Now installation overall is rather simple and if anything is fantastic news for first time builders that want to be able to install a cooler better than a stock cooler and yeah just without the hassle of installation. Now onto performance, many people like to run Prime Letter Fab to test the performance of CPU coolers however following feedback um, yeah, I do want to simulate a typical load without running synthetic benchmarks. For complexity and to generate the most heat possible, I'm always going to run from now on a render test based on the 2016 How to Build a PC Guide. So this will be yeah, me rendering the video in a, um, yeah, Adobe Premiere Pro.